The site is highly significant to Darug people as the first stolen generation of our great Southland. This place disrupted families, connectedness to landscape and cultural responsibilities. Cultural practices that had been performed since time immemorial. This was evident from the ceremonies of welcome to country, smoking and dance on this site, yesterday and indeed today. The song and the dance the ladies performed this morning was uh, about setting the spirits of the children free from this site. The bulrushes were symbolic of uh, the children as that's where they used to run to to try and reconnect with their mothers and families. Today the artists are working on their art pieces and we have Carla Dickens who's doing a piece with rags. We ripped up rags yesterday and she's tying, uh, we're tying them to the fence and it will have um, loving memory when it's finished. Yeah. So we're here you want to have a go? writing on the fence. <laughs> um, we've got loving memory written with uh, rags, symbolising the sheets, just thinking about the colour of the sheets and probably fabric from back in the day. Um, so it's like calico or, yeah, so we're just tying the fabric on and then it'll be really nice to see it age as time kind of goes on, if it survives. And then we have uh, Darren Bell, he's doing portraits and he's also doing a workshop on how to use your smartphone with apps that um, manipulate your photos. So that's really clever and I know some of the young people are really keen to do that workshop. And then we have uh, the Jungu Weavers, they're doing necklaces from Stringy Bark and they're making pendants to go on the necklaces as well. So we're going to all learn some weaving with Uncle Steve and Christine. And then we have some community artists, internationally renowned community artists, Uncle Danny Eastwood and his son Jamie, who are going to do some clay work. Just flatten it out, no nice enough. <laughs> and I'll get one of these girls to put their hand there and I'll trace around it. And then we have our Darug artist, Leanne Tobin, who's asking us to help her shovel the wood chip in a spiral and then we lay the gum leaves over that. It's basically acknowledging what happened at Blake Town Institute but also to uh, have a way of inviting the community to make a gesture towards healing and cleansing of this place. So it's really important to maintain our cultural arts practice. It's what makes us get up in the morning. It's what gives us the drive to decolonise our mind, body and spirit. Mm -hmm.